Hello, welcome to another video. I know you're expecting to see my face, but <laughs> um, I'm not going to do the board for, say, the next three videos. By next week, I'm going to come back to the blackboard. So let's take this as the black screen for the problems we're going to be um, solving for the rest of the week. Um, please leave a comment in the comment section, like this video, share the video. It helps the YouTube algorithm to... Uh, promote my channel please you'll be doing me a favor at least that'll be some kind of favor you'll be doing me so let's look at this question it's a basic word problem that is centered around anti-differentiation and it says you should look for the function such that the first derivative is x cubed and the line x plus y equals zero is tangent to the graph of f so what really is this function well just looking at this, you could tell that if I take the antiderivative, or what we call if we integrate x cubed, we should be able to find the function that gave us this x cubed. Okay, so let's see. If f prime, if f prime of x is equal to x cubed, then we know that the antiderivative of x cubed, or we we'll say if you do integration, okay, we know that, um, let's write it the correct way. We know that dy dx is equal to x cubed, which means that dy is equal to x cubed dx. Nice. But, if we integrate both sides, so let's say we take the integral of both sides. If you integrate dy, you're going to get your function, which is y. And on the right-hand side, you're going to get x to the fourth divided by 4. So I'm going to write it this way, 1 fourth of x to the fourth. But there is a constant of integration plus c. So ideally, we could say that f of x is one fourth of x to the fourth plus c and will be done, but we need to know what c is because what we have here is a family of functions and that is where the second line of information becomes relevant. If you want to know what c is, the question tells us that x plus y equals zero is a tangent to the graph. And remember something about tangents. They only touch a function at only one point. So, and remember, at the point of contact between a straight line and a curve, the slopes, the slope of the tangent is the same thing as the derivative of the function at that point. So we just need to know what that point is, because once we know the point, we're good. So what's the derivative of the function? The derivative of the function is x cubed. So they, they'll have the same slope. What's the slope of this line? Let's go figure that out. So we know that the slope of both functions are equal at the point of contact. We do know that. So all we can do now is go find the point of contact. Well, we know that the slope of the graph f prime of x of the function we're looking for we were given as x cubed. What about this function that we are given? We know that it says y plus x equals 0 which means we can write y plus x equals 0 as y equals minus x. And because this is a straight line, clearly the slope of this function is minus 1, which implies slope equals minus 1. Remember, y equals mx plus b. So now we have this slope to be minus 1. So, and remember, we, this, is the, this is what you will call the... Um, the slope of the straight line is the same thing as the slope of the curve, and we can call this the slope of the curve, which is x cubed. So we can say, therefore, therefore, x cubed must be equal to minus 1. We just need to know what that point is. 
If x cubed is minus 1, then x must be equal to the cube root of minus 1. And what does that give us? Just minus 1. So the point where the two curves meet is the point where x equals minus 1. So, and so we say, therefore, x equals minus 1. Let's not put it that way. Let's say, so what would y be? If we know that x is minus 1 at that point, what would y be? We already said y is minus x. Okay, so we can say, since y equals minus x, then y equals minus minus 1, which is equal to 1. So the point of contact between these two lines or these two functions is the point where x is minus 1 and y is 1. So we're good. We have established at this point that at the point minus 1, 1, that's where the line y plus x equals 0 is tangent to the function we're looking for. And that's all we need. We just need a point. So let's go, and that point is common to both functions. So we're going to go back to this point here and plug in y equals 1 and x equals minus 1, and then we can know what the value of c is. In fact, I'm going to do it up here since we have the function here. So here we're going to say, let's make a bar here. Okay, so we're going to say that we're going to plug in 1 for y equals 1 over 4 times minus 1 raised to power 4 plus c. And what does this give us? We have 1 equals, well, negative 1 to the 4th is just 1. It's just 1 fourth plus c. So that means c equals 1 minus 1 over 4, which is equal to 3 over 4. So the function we're looking for is 1 fourth x to the 4th plus 3 over 4. That's it. So therefore, f of x, the function we're looking for, is 1 over 4 of x to the 4th plus 3 over 4. And that is the answer to this word problem. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.